morning friends and welcome back to my channel today i figured i would start a bit of a plant tours video i really enjoy having plant tour videos to motivate me to do plant tours and so why not provide that for y'all as well so grab some repotting grab your watering can or just grab a cup of tea if you just want to like sit and chill with me because that is also perfectly valid and we can do some plant chores together yay but before i get into the plant chores thing i just want to say if you're new here and you don't know me already hi my name is emma and i make house plenty content all over the internet so if you want to follow along with my house plenty journey and maybe learn something along the way stick around watch some more of my videos and subscribe to my channel if you're not new here thanks for coming back I really appreciate it. I also want to say, if you haven't seen yet, I have freaking new merch and I'm so freaking excited about it. I'm going to talk about it forever because I'm like obsessed with them. This is my Gardener Tarot tea, which I mean in the final version it has stars here as well, um, but this was just a draft. I just felt like it was a bit empty here, so I put stars. I've got this design as well as another design that I'll put up here. The We Must Keep Growing design that um, Tropics Narcotics the people who made my favorite like Metallica font Monstera shirt. They like designed this custom for me to share with all of you, which both of these I'm so excited about. You can find them on my website down below. So go check that out if you want some Planty merch. Um, the most badass cool Planty merch that I've ever put out and I'm so freaking excited about. So that, um, but yeah, I just wanted to talk about it because I'm like literally obsessed with these things and I want to share with them with as many people as physically possible. So, get my merch! <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Oh, let us do some freaking plenty chores. The first thing I need to do, which I haven't done in so freaking long and I've been like really, really bad about it, I need to dust my plants like desperately need to dust my plants i've just been so not on with that <laughs> even since i've had more time in july i've just not been on with it so let me get my dusting gloves and we can do a little bit of dusting i might do multiple days throughout this week dusting maybe this is a video that i will use to force myself to dust because i don't want to do all of it in one day because i'm far too lazy for that but let me get my dusting gloves and we can like, we can start in here. Like start easy and small <laughs> and then we can get bigger with time. So I've got my dusting gloves. They're just microfiber gloves that I got on Amazon. Um, anything I talk about or whatever, I'll link down below, but they are perfect for dusting. I've talked about them so many times um, and I freaking love them. But I also do need to be checking my plants for pests kind of before I dust because I have been having lots of issues with thrips lately in a lot of my plants and I think it's just the time of year and I can talk about that in a future video about how I'm caring for them differently than I was before because I have really 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 changed up my sort of stance on pest treatment in the past few years even but like I've really changed lately so yeah I, I, I do need to be careful for pests because I do know I have them um, but the good thing is I did dust my um, my office plants on my office shelves recently in a patreon video when I like reorganized them all so I don't need to do those but I just feel like because my our windows have been open so much more frequently, I'm noticing a lot more thrips than normal, like within my collection. So kind of annoying, but it is just something that happens. If you have your windows open, you can get thrips. They can come in on your clothes. They can come in so many different ways, but yeah. I'm pretty sure these plants don't have them, but better safe than sorry i do not want to be spreading them throughout my collection if i do have them That's 
section is done. Looking so much shinier now. I love it. Hello, Cleo. Hi. How are you doing? Having a good nap? Yeah. Good. Good girl. Love you, baby. So can you see this leaf? It is freaking huge and it's like not hardened off yet. Oh my glorious, I'm obsessed with it. Now that I've dusted like the entire living room, I'm actually going to water in the office because I haven't watered in there in a bit and Joe's not in today. So it's easiest to water in the office when he's not working because then I can actually use the space however I need. So got my watering can and let's fill it up actually with some fertilizer water as well because we're just gonna keep fertilizing. My plants are loving it, so like why not continue? Overfilled that. As per usual, I'm using my liquid gold leaf. And because a lot of the plants in there that I know need water are in semi-hydro, I'm just gonna be giving the semi-hydro um, rate for these. That'll be fine. Let's go water. I've also been struggling with thrips in this section. You can see there's a bit of discoloration here on my crystallinum. And honestly, I have tried predatory mites on it and like there are some in here, but I think the sachets are out of date at this point. I think I'm getting some more this week. So I will obviously show you when I put those on. But basically in the meantime, I've been standing here for like five minutes every day just like squishing thrips, which is a choice, <laughs> but it's a choice that, I mean, it, it works. It's like manually killing them all, but it is kind of like an annoying task. And I think it has gotten better since I started doing it like every day. I, I haven't noticed as many as like when I kind of just started. So I mean, if you wanna just like get rid of your thrips manually every day by squishing them, it's doable. Probably not if you like have a job that's not plant care, but since my job is plant care, it's been absolutely fine. All smashed. <laughs> I also will need to treat these plants for spider mites again. I have got like predatory mites on them at the minute so I've kind of I've skipped a week but I think I mean I haven't noticed any spider mites in a minute but I am going to treat with alcohol again um, and I do still have some more of the predatory mites. I think they're in here. I, li I literally can't see them because they're so small, but I think there's more in here. So, 
hopefully after like a couple more treatments and like staying on top of predatory mites because I'm also getting sachets for spider mites in my subscription so I'll make sure to put them heavily on this zone and yeah I think that'll be that'll be good it'll be nice to like be rid of the spider mite situation in this zone I think I'm doing pretty well I've been really on top of making sure that I am like treating them I've done it I think twice already and then I've put the predatory mites on it so I've like waited that time but now we will be back again wiping and then predatory miting um, but that'll be later in this video yeah. I'm also quite pleased at how well I've been doing keeping my moss poles in here moist I feel like after the like few months I had where I was like really not on top of it since I've like rehydrated them a couple of times I have been like really really keeping it <laughs> on lock and like even when I was like I had a cold last week and I just like wasn't feel like doing any plant care I was like okay no but I can water my moss poles like it's the least I can do it takes like two seconds so I've been really really proud of myself for that and I mean I'm gonna water them again now but yeah I, I feel like they've been doing so much better since I've been watering them so much which is great Good tall for me. It's been a while since I watered my succulents, so I took this time after repotting the other ones to go in and make sure everything was nice and watered. Just gonna leave these here to drain out for a little while and then hopefully in a few hours they'll be ready to go back into the cabinet I don't know it might be longer I might leave them overnight um, just depends how many dishes I make and how much uh, sink I need to use it is several hours later at this point and I am in my pajamas ready to go to bed but I realized I needed to put my cacti back in the cabinet so here I am putting them back in as best as I can. I did leave the ones I repotted out though because I wanted to keep them soaking before putting them back the next morning. So it turns out um, I didn't film anything else last week. I just got kind of busy. <laughs> so I haven't been doing many plant tours other than like the odd like emergency leaf pull. Um, not that that's ever really an emergency, but nothing big or drastic has happened. But what I have got in the mail is predatory mite sachets from Ladybird Plant Care. I bought these with my own money. It's not sponsored by them, but I am an affiliate with them. So if you would like to use my link, it does help me a little bit. And you actually get a little bit of a discount if you subscribe to their sort of um, like recurring subscription of Predatory Mites, which I freaking love. I think I've banged on about it tons because I love not having to worry about when I put the sachets on. They'll just, I'll just automatically get billed and sent more every six weeks. And I can choose how many I want in a subscription and they just get sent to my door. And I know that when I get new ones, it's time for the old ones to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these on my plants. But first, I really wanted to clean off the plants that I had spider mites on or maybe still have, we're, we're working on it. I wanted to do another alcohol um, wipe with them and then put these on because just, just clean the plants again. So let's go wash those plants off one last time 
maybe not last time, but one more time. And then we can put these on once they are dry and go around putting the thrips, like killer sachets on as well. So let's, let's go on into the bathroom and do some alcohol wiping. Ew. Now I'm just gonna let these dry out for a couple hours, make sure they're not like sopping wet or anything, and then I can put them back on the desk and put some predatory mite sashes on them. But in the meantime, let's do the ones for thrips. I am going to freaking do it. I'm going to dust in the bedroom, which is where everything gets the most dusty. I just feel like I never dust these plants in here and I really desperately need to and I think they will absolutely thank me for it. So I'm going to dust in here today and it's probably gonna take me a lot longer than it did the living room. Joy, but it's okay. I'll put on some music for myself and I'll put on some music for you, which happens to be different music because copyright, but I'll put on some music and make it a little bit more fun for me. That's a good idea.
it is far too hot to be doing this today. I am like sweating. It's gross. I might need to change into like slightly less clothing. I'm so hot. Um, but I think I've done a pretty good job. I haven't done this area, but I, I don't think I have the energy in me to do it right now. Um, so I might like take a quick break, cool down, have some water. But I'm glad I got a good chunk of it done. I feel really good about it. I also do need to water in here. You can see things like my Marble Queen are very floppy at the minute. So that's the other thing I'll be doing probably next. I should have yeah, moved. Yeah, Joe? Yeah, Joe? Are you filming? Do you literally see the camera oh. right in front of your face? <laughs> like, literally right there. Yeah, Joe? Sorry. I thought that was pretty obvious. <laughs> he sneaks out. That's going in the video. You're going in the video. I am going in the video. I just picked these up to put them away and look how dirty they are like they're supposed to be this nice light mint green and they are covered in dirt so I think I'm actually going to put them in the laundry that's what's great about these you can like reuse them over and over and over and over and over and over and over again Got these on all nice on all of these plants down here. Now that I have cleared out the bathtub by putting those spider plants, spider mite plants back where they normally live, I thought it might be a good idea to give these all a good wash with some horticultural soap because that is a natural insecticide and that would be a good thing to do before putting the predatory mites on. So now let's bring these lovelies to the shower and we can wipe them off with that. This is the horticultural soap I'm using. It is also from Ladybird Plant Care and I'm just gonna dilute it into a spray bottle at one to 100 ratio and then go ahead and wipe all this stuff down. I'm just gonna leave these to dry for a little bit. I don't know, just like a couple hours maybe. And then we can put them back and put the predatory mite sachets on for protection. 
So I have just taken some cuttings here to send back to my friend who gave me these peperomias as part of our swap. I have been honestly terrible about sending these back. I know it's been like a month at this point. Whoops. But finally getting around to doing that. And they said that they are really getting into um, jungle cacti. So I took some jungle cactus cuttings for them. Um, this one, which is a Reptalis red coral, it's freaking huge. Like, look how long this is. Um, I'm hoping that it does really well. It's kind of the only bit I can take off of this chunk of plant. I don't have tons and tons of it, but it is, this will still do to give something fun. Do do do. And then these are bits of mistletoe cactus, which, oh gosh, I don't know the scientific name. I will put it on the screen because I forgot what they're called, but I've got three cuttings of those because I've got quite a big plant. And so why not put a good amount? Actually, I might take some more. Let me, let me go grab some more really quick. One sec. Okay, I've taken a bunch more. So there can be a bunch. Amazing. And then lastly, I have some Peperomia frost cuttings because mine is doing so freaking well. And I'm pretty sure he doesn't have any. So let's trade some Peperomia for some Peperomia. I put five in here in hopes that that is enough to live just in case. And I'm going to be using these um, corrugated cardboards like he did for mine as well. These look so cute sticking out the top as well. It's kind of adorable. This one's the only one I'm a little bit nervous for because I will need to fold it over itself. I guess I'll just not do the tube too tight. And it should be okay. There we go. And then we'll put them back in here. And 
close it up. Good to go. So now I have this all packed up as well as this is my little Acker Bar mini greenhouse that I am sending as well away. Not to the same guy, but to somebody else. Finally found a box big enough for it. And I'm going to get these probably collected tomorrow because I don't know if I can be bothered to go to the post office and if collection is free, I may as well. So this is brilliant. I am very glad I'm finally getting around to this. It's, it's been far too long. Miss Cleo, are you enjoying the sunshine? Oh, yes you are. Yes you are. It's so lovely, isn't it? morning friends today is a new day and I am just starting it off by doing a, a bit more watering so watering inside of the cabinet today and right now I've got a um is that too full have I, have I overfilled that I think I might have just overfilled something One second. But, sorry, what I was saying is that I am starting my day by watering the plants in my cabinet and I am using my semi-hydro ratio of fertilizer water today because I'm pretty much only watering the plants that are in semi-hydro because the ones that are in soil seem to be absolutely okay um, like moisture wise but one thing I did want to say as well that I'm not actually showing you because I feel like it doesn't quite make sense is that almost every other day or every three days I am watering my moss poles I check on them every single day to make sure that they haven't like dried out too too much because that like they can dry out quite quickly especially when it is hot like it has been these past like a couple of weeks so when it's this hot, I want to be making sure that I am watering them frequently enough so that they don't go hydrophobic. So I don't really tend to show that to y'all because I feel like it would just be quite boring me watering my moss poles for like the 17th time in a week long plant chores. Like I don't think that makes sense for me to show every single bit of just because it is like a lot I'm not I I don't know it just feels like too frequently for me to share with you every single time um but yeah I just wanted to make that note because I do do it every day it's just not it's just not something that I show every single time I do it because it just feels like too much but other than that I have a few things on my agenda I did want to do a bit of repotting today or potting up of props because I have a few props that I want to deal with but also I just noticed and this is a shame I just noticed that okay come on why are we stuck uh, I just dropped something, okay. The leaf on my water queen, I'm not the new one, but this leaf 
has gone extremely yellow like extremely yellow and i think it is due to not enough hydration and i feel like i kind of need to repot this plant in something a bit taller because it's just it's got so many roots i just don't know if i have something taller to repot it in so let us figure out what we can possibly do with this one and do some repotting as well I was thinking about it and I don't actually have a pot that is taller than this and bigger than this so I have ordered one on Amazon which won't come in time for me to sort this plant out in this video but that can be something I do another time instead because it does need something I just don't have I don't have the right equipment right now so I've ordered I've ordered a tall skinny pot in hopes that that will do. So I'm not actually gonna do this one now, even though I said I was. Um, I did research and I'm figuring it out instead. But I have quite a lot of props that I want to pop up. Um, I've got my Stir of Hearts here, my Winlandii, and a Cebu Blue. So that is what we're going to do together right now. Let me pull you in a bit closer so you can see what the heck is going on and we can get potting. So I think the first thing I want to do is actually combine my string of hearts is. I didn't realize this one was in such a big pot. So I'm actually just gonna put them both into this pot and then add in the cuttings I have as well here because I think that should be fine. But I just feel like I may as well mix them. It's a, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh, that plant has ants, just like the other one did, and it's freaking me out. Oh my god, it's one second. Ah. Mm -mm -mm. Ah. 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 Oh. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Ah. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and sort this out. Ah, uh, there's just so many. It freaks me out. Ugh. This is horrid. <sighs> okay, I got this, I got this, I got this. Horrendous. I hated every second of that. <sighs> Made me feel so incredibly anxious as well, which is not good. But I can say that the roots on these are uh, phenomenal. Like, look at them. They're absolutely stunning, which is fabulous. <sighs> Sorry, I think I've still got like <laughs> adrenaline going because I. It, it makes me feel like they're crawling all over me which is not fun. Ah. It's okay, I think I got them. I threw the dirt that was in them out. And I think I saw the queen when I was doing this, like rinsing it out, and I think I squashed her. Which I feel bad about, but at the same time, I don't. So, oh God, that, that just gave me so much stress. Way more than I needed. Um, let me get some new soil for this, one second. So the only soil that I have is anthurium and orchid soil from Soil Ninja, which is just gonna have to be 
okay for now. Ah, uh, <laughs> let me separate out this sphagnum moss from these cuttings because then I can reuse it again. Because I think I'm gonna have to chop and prop again this one because it is so long that I think it's gonna need more space. Or like if I chop it in half, then I can literally double it. That's the thing with growing like string of plants. If you keep dividing them in half, like chopping them halfway through, and then propping those and putting them back in, you're exponentially growing them. So it's getting thicker and thicker and thicker and thicker. Like I'm pretty sure I got the variegated string of hearts in, oh, I don't know what year it was, but like with just a few strands, it did not have much. And now it's nearly the size of my normal one because I've been propagating it like way more, which is awesome. So I feel like, they're great if you're loving propagating things. Um, so yeah, y'all voted on my last video to combine these together, actually. So that is what I'm doing. Putting the variegated and the non-variegated ones together because I think, like, why not? And I'll have one less plant to look after and like my variegated one isn't super highly variegated anyway, so like it's not like it'll look that different. And having a bit of a mix, I think will probably be quite cute. So I don't mind that. Oh my goodness. That was like such a sheer state of panic. Um, I saw it and I was like, oh, um, because my Dracaena, if you haven't watched my last video, my updates video, I talk about how the Dracaena in my kitchen had ants and I thought we had gotten rid of them. I never thought ants would be the pests that I'm dealing with the most, <laughs> but right now they're the ones that freak me out so much because they like, there's just so many of them and they just kind of like swarm and then you're like, what the heck's going on? I don't, why do I have ants on my plants? <laughs> oh my gosh. That was like so un... <laughs> unnecessary like why why are they doing that hopefully now that i've sorted that that's that dealt with and i never have to deal with them again but i'm sure i'll i'm sure i'll probably find another plant with them in because it seems like they just like living in my plants so that's a problem i never knew that i was gonna potentially have when getting house plants is uh having ants but like it's not like i take soil and stuff from the outside. I don't think it came in in the soil. I think, like, I know my flat had ants um, in the walls at some point, but I'm, I'm hoping that they moved their, like, base is, in this case, their bases to the plants, which obviously sucks for me, but like, I can deal with that by repotting them. But I hope they moved their bases out of the walls into the plants. <laughs> Um, and that I've like, now that I've dealt with them, I, they won't come back because they're no longer living in the walls. Cause that would be great if that was the case, unless they've just like colonized <laughs> my plants. Um, like an ant colony, that makes sense. I don't know if that's how it works, but <sighs> oh my God, that stressed me out so freaking much, way more than it needed to, but those kind of things, they really get me. I don't know how people handle stuff like that, but I don't handle it well. Okay, got all the moss off of that. And now we can pot these up all together. I'm gonna try and Put just a couple pieces of bark at the bottom to cover the holes in the pot because they do have quite big holes like that I don't know if you can see it I'll zoom in if I can um and then get some of the more soily bits of soil in there around it I don't want as much chunk as um, 
and then we have an orchid soil provides like it's great for epiphytes because they like a chunky area mix but for like semi succulenty string of hearts which i don't think is an epiphyte as far as i know is not an epiphyte i don't know if they will like the chunk as much so i will avoid the chunks also sorry for the lights changing the sun is going in and out loads at the minute um we've like in this past few days like this past week or so the weather's been pretty all right here why am i talking about the weather small talk but it's been okay um i feel like this summer in general in the uk at least has been very 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 dark and very gray and so finally having a bit of sun is really really nice to have But it does go in and out a bit. Okay, okay. That is good. I think that will look nice. I mean, y'all aren't going to be able to see the entirety of the thing. Because it is freaking huge. But. I might just cut it in half there. I think I have pruning shears in here. Yes. So if that's full length, I might go there and then prop the bottom half. And I'm just gonna, I don't even care if I'm cutting leaves in half because there's so many of them that it doesn't really matter. Um, and I take off the bottom sets of leaves on my cuttings anyways, so it's fine. So there. Now we have a very, very full string of hearts plant. So full. I mean, it's literally three plants in one. Um, but I think that's going to grow really, really well. And I'm going to like it. Huh. I didn't put my potting mat down because I was feeling lazy and I, now I kind of regret it because now I have to clean the table instead of just cleaning the potting mat, which is what I normally have to do. It's fine. So I'm just going to keep using the same moss to be honest because it works perfectly well. I should probably detangle these, but it's quite a lot of work at this point, so I probably won't. I'm just removing the bottommost leaves so we can have a node that can go underneath the soil and I don't have to worry about it. Going funky. Let me, let me zoom in so you can actually see what the heck I'm doing because that would be probably nicer than just like looking at my feet. Okay, now I do need to detangle these, unfortunately.
we go. Props sorted as well. Doing string of props always takes like way longer than I think it will as well. Um, Cause they're, they're so fiddly that it just, it takes ages. But I am going to pot up this Winlandia I cutting. Um, this was the top cut of one I did ages and ages ago. And the bottom, which already had roots on it, I think, I ended up, um, it ended up dying, so I had to take it out of the plant. Also, why are we, why are we yellow? That's a thread leaf. Ugh. Why are syngoniums so freaking pest prone? This is very annoying. I'm trying to decide if I want to put it in or not. Could just do it and then put some predatory mites on. I, I removed the like main leaf of the problem, this one. That is so frustrating. I mean, I have thrips like freaking everywhere, so it's not like anything new, but it's just frustrating when, when you find a new plant that has some. I shouldn't be surprised though, because this came from my plant shelves in the office, which did have thrips, so. It really doesn't surprise me. More just annoys me. Okay, anyways, it's got some nice roots. Let's put this in here so it's quarantined. This moss is not something I would want to touch again. Oh. <sighs> big hole as well because it's got quite a big root system so oh, I'm just so annoyed with that it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine let's put that in there and put that on this side And then put this back in. One. I think this sachet is an old one. You know, I wish they put dates on these. I know that that's not how it works, but I think that's an old one. Um, but I will put a new one on from somewhere else in my collection. That's fine. It's fine, it's fine. The rest of the plant doesn't have any thrips on it. So I think it was just that cutting. It also wasn't even an adult ones I saw. I saw just two babies. And so. 
it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And then the other one is my Cebu Blue, which I mean, I'm in love with, obviously. It is doing so, so well since we upped the moss pole last time. And I actually have this cutting, which do you remember when I pulled out the entire thing last time? Well, I don't know where I was going with that story. But when I was doing this last time, I spilled soil everywhere. So there's already a gap in the soil in this one. So I'm just going to put it in and backfill with the old soil. Do I have something that I can connect it with? Because this is the one that already has a fenestration on it from when I got in the Scotland plant swap, this cutting. It's got this fenestrated leaf, which is the only fenestrated Sable Blue I've ever had. So I'm hoping that I can get it to um, grow more of those fenestrations, given that is a like middle cutting. So the new growth from that one isn't fenestrated, but I think it will fenestrate. Eventually it should. So yeah, easy peasy, just added that in. No problem. Okay, that all took like way longer than I thought it would, but yeah, let's put these, let's put these away. So that does look a wee bit choppy here for now. I think it'll start growing out again soon and hopefully look less blunt. decided to put my Warroquianum on top of the IKEA cabinet because I think it'll do a little bit better up there. It doesn't need quite as much light as it was getting in the IKEA cabinet and it's still quite humid in here. So I think this will be fine for the time being until I can repot it. I think this is where I'm going to end this video. I feel like I've got a lot done these past two weeks. Well, I didn't get anything done the first week, but the second week I got a lot done. And I feel like I'm in a good spot with my plants at the minute. It does feel really empty without my um, Ethereum or Quianum in there. So I'll have to find something else to fill the space. Maybe move one of the allocages up a, bit of a, a little bit higher. But yeah, that is it. That is a week of plant tours with me. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Before I go, I want to say a big thanks to the newest member of my Good Growing Fam, Kate. Thank you so much for joining. I am so excited to have you over on my Patreon. If anyone else is interested in my Patreon, it's about three pounds, well it is three pounds, about four euros or four dollars per month. Like, think of it as buying me a cup of coffee or running one of my grow lights for a month and really helping me out a little bit. Obviously there's no pressure, but you do get some fun bonus content over there and I feel like you get to know me better and then I get to know you better as well, which is quite a lot of fun, but of course if it's not your jam, that's totally fine as well. So yeah, thanks for Kate for joining in. If the rest of you like this video, please give it a thumbs up down below and leave a comment on other houseplanty things you'd like me to talk about in the future and don't forget to subscribe for more. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.